survey. It's the sheriff versus Sharpton tonight in Pinellas County. Sheriff Bob Gualtieri responding to Al Sharpton's demand that he arrest the shooter in a controversial stand your ground case or give up his badge. The sheriff says he's doing exactly what the law requires him to do, and today he told Sharpton to get out of town. Evan Axel makes live at the Pinellas County Justice Center with this part of the story. Evan. Well, Mark, the more attention that this case has gotten, the more emotional the back and forth has gotten. And now there are questions about what impact the war of words could have. Sheriff Bob Galtieri almost held back. I don't have any comment on that. You know, it's a bunch of rhetoric. So I'm not, you know, I didn't pay much attention to it, to tell you the truth. But he couldn't. I went there and don't really care what Al Sharpton has to say. Go back to New York, mind your own business. Sunday saw Al Sharpton join with the parent. Sheriff Bob Galtieri almost held back. I don't have any comment on that. You know, it's a bunch of rhetoric. So I'm not, you know, I didn't pay much attention to it, to tell you the truth. Sheriff Bob Galtieri almost held back. I don't have any comment on that, you know. Sheriff Bob Galtieri almost held back. I don't have any comment on that. You know, it's a bunch of rhetoric. So I'm not, you know, I didn't pay much attention to it, to tell you the truth. But he couldn't. I went there and don't really care what Al Sharpton has to say. You know, go back to New York, mind your own business. Sunday saw Al Sharpton join with the parents of Trayvon Martin, civil rights attorneys, and five Democratic candidates for governor to demand Galtieri arrest Michael Draca for shooting Marquise McLaughlin. Galtieri says he would have if not for the Stand Your Ground law. To the suggestion Sharpton go back to New York, his camp told the Tampa Bay Times on Monday that Galtieri's comments are like those of sheriffs out of the 1960s that called civil rights leaders invited by victims outside agitators. This case should not be tried in the parking lot of a convenience store or a gas station. It be, should be tried in a courtroom. Sharpton promises to keep coming back to Clearwater until charges are filed, which is now up to the state attorney. Will public attention make a difference? When a prosecutor looks at this case, they're not looking at it whether or not we can be popular, whether or not this is a popular decision. It's whether or not they can prove this charge. Lawyer and legal analyst Anthony Rickman argues prosecutors would need to believe they can prove clearly and convincingly this is not a case where stand your ground would apply. Rickman says that's an even higher burden than the sheriff has already said he couldn't meet to charge Draca. They're going to review it, they're going to take their time, and they're going to base their decision on the facts, the evidence, the video, and more importantly, the law. And on Sunday, Al Sharpton argued that charges would not have been filed against George Zimmerman in the Trayvon Martin situation without public pressure. And remember, that took six weeks to happen. He was, of course, found not guilty. And coming up at 11 o'clock, Mark, we're going to tell you all about a poll that's going around the state legislature right now on whether there should be a special session convened in Tallahassee to look again at Stand Your Ground. I know this is one of those cases that got everybody's attention for sure, for good reason. So we will uh, we'll see how it shakes out, Evan. Thanks very much. Meantime.